Hi there, join me in this video when I wander around Dunham Massey Deer Park. Today I'm at Dunham Massey, which is a National Trust property in Cheshire. Now just over there, there is a house that you can visit, but I'm not gonna visit that today. At the moment, I'm in the formal gardens, so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time wandering around here. Then I'm gonna go into the deer park and hopefully get some photographs of the deer. I've got the long lens in the backpack, so stay with me. I know I'm really gonna enjoy my photography. At the moment, while I'm in the formal garden, what I'm looking for is some autumnal colours because the plants really have gone past the best, but the leaves are just starting to turn. Everything's a little bit late this year, but I have found a maple leaf and I've used this tree stump just here as a background and I've taken a close-up shot of that. Clearly this stand of birches is not natural, it's been planted to look like this, but it makes for quite an interesting picture when you focus on these tree trunks that are white against a darker background and they stand out really well. I think I've found all that I'm going to in the formal gardens. I have found some autumnal colours like the trees in the background, but there's not actually many of them that have turned that way just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wander off into the deer park where things should look a little bit more natural and hopefully get some photographs of the deer. The difficulty is not going to be seeing deer because I've just had some walk almost right past me um, as you can see here on the screen. The difficulty is going to be getting a good photograph. Just here there are some there in the background. Um, now just behind me there's a, a no access point so this is as close as I can get to those deer. So I'm going to get the long lens out and I'm going to see what I can do with those just over there. They seem very calm until they ran off. Even though the deer just ran off, they did come back, they didn't go very far, but I didn't manage to get a very good shot, partly because the deer are quite a long distance away and none of them really turned to look towards me. They're all facing the opposite direction, so it didn't make for the most attractive of photographs. But I've, there are plenty of deer still around. And I should be able to get closer to some if I keep looking. So this is proving to be a lot more tricky than I expected it to be. Clearly there are deer about, but even though they are quite tame, getting close to them and getting them to stand still and look in the right direction is really quite tricky. It takes a little bit of patience, so I'm gonna have to work a little bit harder. Staying in one spot and staying still seems to have helped. Also staying quiet, which is why I'm whispering, but this deer just here in the background has been around for quite a while. And at one point it came so close to me that I didn't think I'd be able to fit it in full frame with the 200 millimeter lens on. So I was zoomed all the way out as far as I could and it was still almost filling the entire frame. I'm 
going to wander off from this location. I've had some lovely sightings of the deer. I don't know what the photographs will be like, but it's really nice just being in the presence of these creatures. They're so calm and beautiful. Um, it's a lovely way to spend the afternoon. Behind me is a deer sanctuary and it's going to be difficult to get access to some parts of the park because there's a barrier across the path. Now this is to allow the deer to feel safe while they're in rut and just do their feeding and without being bothered by people. So despite being right on the edge of the deer sanctuary, there is a stag just here, sat grazing. It doesn't seem very bothered by all the people walking past on the path, but I've got a few shots of him. I've just got some really nice shots of that male. Apparently it's not a stag. I've just been talking to a ranger. They are classed as bucks. Um, the reds are stags and this is a buck. Um, but either way, I've managed to get some really nice shots and got very close to it without really going into the deer sanctuary. I got about as far as I could, but the ranger said that there's lots of um, water courses and um, drains. So not only is it not right to uh, disturb the, the deer, but also there's lots of marshy areas that you can get stuck in, so it is best to stay to the paths. I was beginning to think I wouldn't see any more male deer, um, but just through the trees here on the path, I've managed to get a shot of one sat down in some quite nice lighting. So you've just got to keep your eyes open, obviously still stay on the path, but just find the right gap in the trees and I've got another shot. Now there is another male just over here, um, sat down, feeling fairly comfortable, but talking to the ranger earlier, apparently I've missed the best time by about two weeks, because two weeks ago, all the males hadn't segregated themselves, and now they're all in isolation, and they were being very, very friendly last a couple of weeks ago, and I would have got some miles better shots, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Now I did mention in a video a few weeks ago that I don't take pictures to impress judges. I just do them for my own enjoyment and for you to look at. But every so often I still do enter competitions and I've just entered the Dingwall National Exhibition in the UK and this photograph came overall first in the exhibition. So I wanted to share that good news with you. Well, I was just about to leave and I came across this male just here and I've got lots of great shots and I managed to get within about five meters of it. It's just not bothered at all. There it is. What a great way to end the video.
Now I've had a really good time here at Dunham Massey this afternoon. The deer have been spectacular to look at and I've really enjoyed taking the photographs. Now I've not got anything really spectacular but I've really enjoyed myself doing it. Now you might have noticed that the photography of the video has been slightly different today because I've been using my new gimbal and I've really been testing that out as well. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at that. Well that's it for today from Dunham Massey, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Instagram account, that's at Day Photography. You can leave me your comments there. And if you like what I do on the channel, you can always support me by visiting my Teespring store where I've got a range of merchandise on offer. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications or just over here on my face. Go up here, check out this video. Watch out for next week's video, that goes live at four o'clock on Sunday. But all that's left now is to say, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.